Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we're looking at Homelinks 2.7, Converting Units of Time. This is basically an exercise in how to multiply uh, numbers that are in the tens. Um, the instructions at the top say, use the measurement scales to fill in the tables and answer the questions. And of course, we're dealing with multiplication of the number 60, because to convert hours to minutes, or minutes to seconds, you would just multiply that number by 60. So if you look at the table for number one, one hour is the equivalent of 60 minutes. That's the same as saying I'm going to take the number in the left-hand column and then just multiply it by 60. One times 60 is 60. So if I multiply four times 60, well, what would that give me? Well, if I know that four times six is 24, and I know that 4 times 6 tens is going to be 24 tens, or 240. It's basically saying 4 times 6 with a 0 behind it gives you 24 with a 0 behind it. So if you know your uh, single digit multiplication of 6s, or if you know your multiples of 6s, this will go pretty easy. There's a couple trickier spots though. If you take a look at uh, this one right here, they're asking you to multiply 11 uh, hours times the unit 60 minutes, okay? Now, up at the top, you'll notice that the, uh, the multiplication scales for minutes to seconds and hours to minutes only go to 10. Now, some of you probably already know what 11 times 6 gives you, but let's say that you didn't. 11 is basically 10 and 1 combined. 11 is 1, 1, and 1, 10. So if I didn't know what 11 times 6 gives me, I could take the product of 10 times 6 and 1 times 6 and add them together, like so. Here's... 10 times 6 equals 60, and then 1 times 6 gives me 6. But we're not multiplying by 6, are we? We're multiplying by 60. So I'm going to put a 0 behind each of those. So 10 times 60 gives me 600. 1 times 60 is 60, of course. And then I add those two together. 600 plus 60 would give me 660. And that's how I find the answer right here. 6 tens is basically 6 with a 0 behind it. So when I multiply a 1 with a 0 behind it times 6 with a 0 behind it, I get an answer of 6 with 1, 2 zeros behind it. And that's pretty much how you approach these problems. Now, these story problems ask you to do the same thing, only they uh, write it out in an, a number story that has you con uh, convert the units. Zach worked on his spelling for nine minutes last night and eight minutes this afternoon. How many seconds did he work? Let me read that again. Zach worked on his spelling for nine minutes last night and eight minutes this afternoon. How many seconds did he work? They want you to take the, the total of 9 plus 8, which you and I know is 17, but instead of taking 17 minutes as your answer, they want you to multiply 17 times 60. They're funny that way. Oh, Mr. Wassman, we haven't gotten to multiplying 17 yet. How do we do that? Well, again... As we talked about before, 17 is basically 10 and 7. So if you combine the uh, total of 10 minutes equivalent of seconds, 607 minutes, the equivalent of uh, seconds, which is 420, you get your answer. And then finally down at the bottom, there's some practice additions 
uh, problems that are in the hundreds and thousands. This is always good practice, especially since there's a lot of regrouping involved. Let's look at number nine, just because it basically is a doubling problem in the thousands. So I'm going to add 3,649 to itself. So 9 plus 9 gives me 18. I'm going to carry that 10. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. So 9 tens. No regrouping there. 6 plus 6 is 12. So 6 hundreds plus 6 hundreds gives me 12 hundreds. Carry the 1,000. And then 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 3 is 7. And you get your total. Now again, if you weren't sure that this answer was correct, you could always take one of those numbers and then subtract it to see if you got the correct answer. So if I look up here, 8 minus 9 can't do it, so I have to borrow a group of 10, making that 8 tens, and 18 ones. 18 minus 9 is 9, 8 minus 4 is 4. 2 minus 6 can't do it, so i got to borrow a group of 1,000, break that 1,000 up into 10 hundreds with my 2 hundreds, making it 12 hundreds. And as you can see, it gives me my original number of 3,649. If you have questions about this, please reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.